Since when does 2 plus 2 equal 0? Well, it does when you have non-calculating data. Now, maybe you got data from a notepad file or a website. Maybe it was a PDF or you copied it directly from a Word document or even PowerPoint. Well, sometimes when data comes from other applications into Excel, then it's not calculable be because maybe the cell or data is formatted as text. It could be that there's extra spaces in the cell. There could even be extra characters in the cell and those characters could be non-printing so you can't see them. In this video we're going to talk about how to get around and work with non-calculating data. At the end of the video I'm also going to come back and talk about some of the error messages that you'll see in uh, the Excel uh, video that I'm going to show and uh, how to control those error messages. So if you've got a few minutes, stick around and let me show you how to work with non-calculating data in your Microsoft Excel files. Our first non-calculation issue involves numbers that are formatted as text. So before we get started, I want to draw your attention to cell H2. If I move to cell H2 and then double click, it will show that there is a sum function there that is looking at all of those numbers below it. Now, when I press enter, I receive a zero because the calculation cannot be done because the numbers are being viewed as text entries. So in a sense, it's sort of like trying to calculate words. I can tell that these numbers are formatted as text by the small green notification in the top left corner of each of the cells. If I click on the cell, then I'll see a small exclamation point just to the left of the cell. And if I hold my mouse over that exclamation point, I then receive a notification that the number in this cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe, which by the way is an old school method for creating text entries in a spreadsheet. I can resolve this issue an easy way just by selecting the exclamation point and then it notifies me that the number is stored as text. But just below that, you'll see convert to number. If I've selected the cell and I choose convert to number, the number is converted and it shows a result in cell H2. If I want to select all the cells and address them all at once, I can just select all of the cells, hold my mouse over that icon and then click and once again choose convert to number and it converts all of the numbers at once to actual numerical values and the sum formula above calculates. Problem resolved. A second method for converting numbers that are stored as text is to use the text to columns feature. So to use text to columns to resolve this issue, I'll select the non-calculating data that's formatted as text and then move to the data tab. And then over to text to columns. Now the text to columns feature is usually used to break up data in a cell, but you can also use it to resolve uh, numerical values that are formatted as text. And to do that, I really don't have to make any decisions in this text to columns wizard window. I just need to click next while the column is selected and you can only do one column at a time. So I'll just choose next, ignore all of the questions that it's asking me until I get to the finish screen and this is where the work gets done. So you'll notice at the top that the column data format is now default set to general, which will do calculation for numerical values. And then the second thing is the destination. So instead of changing the format uh, and then re-entering the data, it will do all of that for me, basically changing the format to general and then re-entering the data starting at cell H5. All I have to do now is to click the finish button and all of the numbers have been converted and I get a result in cell H2. Our second problem involves numerical values that are uh, one formatted as text, but then also contain spaces. So if I move to cell H5 and double click, you'll notice that there are 
several spaces to the right of the numerical value in that cell. As a matter of fact, if I move to the left, there are even spaces on the left. Now, this can come from copying PDF data or data off of the internet. To resolve the issue easily, I can just select all of the cells that have this problem and then move to the Home tab. And then all the way over to the right to Find and Select. And then choose Replace. To resolve the issue using the Find and Replace dialog box, I just have to click into the Find What field and then press the space key. So in short, find a space. Then in the replace with field, I'll just click there and, and type nothing. Then I'll choose replace all. It removes 34 spaces from these entries. And you'll notice that the numbers calculate and I see a result at the top in cell H2. A second method for addressing numbers that uh, contain spaces is to use a formula. And in this case, I'm going to use the trim formula. The trim function removes all but one space between words. And since we're not using words, there will be no spaces at all. So after typing the equal sign, then the word trim, and an open paren, I'll then click the first number to the left, and then close the parentheses, and then press enter. When I do, you'll notice that the numbers now align directly to the left, and I can use the autofill tool to just copy that result to the bottom. Now, I have the numbers, but they're in an, another column, so I'm going to copy them and then paste them over the top of the existing data using paste special and then values. When I do, the numbers have now been moved to column H, but you'll notice that they're still not calculating because the trim function is usually used for text entries. So the numbers, once again, are formatted as text. From here, I can select them all move to the small exclamation point, click it, and then choose convert to number. And now all the numbers align to the right and I receive a result at the top in cell H2, meaning that I can then select my formula in J and delete it. In this example, you'll notice that not only are the numbers in the cell formatted as text, but they also contain other text in the cell. So I've got to separate the numbers from the text and then format those numbers so that I can then do math on them. So in this case, I can use the text to columns feature, selecting all of the sales, then moving to data, then text to columns, and this time using fixed width. So I'll choose next and you'll notice that it's giving me an example here at the bottom and what I'll do is remove the arrows just by double clicking which removes the column separation and I'll just leave the last one. Now if I do use this method you'll notice that there is a space in front of each number so I can grab that arrow and then move it one to the right which then just isolates the numerical values. Now, this works great if you're using double digit, but you may have to actually leave three spaces if you're using, uh, for example, numbers over 100. So I'll just click next again, and uh, I'm left at the finish screen. So this case, I'll not import the text and just skip the column, but for the second column, I'll leave it on general, and it will then start the re-import at H5, basically the same column, and when I click finish, I now receive just numerical entries and the numbers calculate at the top in cell H2. Another method for resolving this problem would be to use a formula. So in this case, I'm going to use what is called a nested formula, or a formula inside of a formula. So 
I'm going to want to start by pulling all of the numbers that are on the right side of the cells. So I can do that by using the right formula. And then the right of the cell separated by a comma from the number of characters on the right that I want, two. I'll close the paren and press enter. And then I receive the result of 23, which I can then copy down to the rest of the entries. Now you'll notice by the alignment of these cells that the items in them are still formatted as text. Now to resolve that issue though, so that I can do calculations on these, I'll need to add to this formula. And I did mention that it's nested. And I'll just double click the cell and then add something to the formula. So I'll start in the front by adding the word value and then a open paren. Then at the end of the function, I'll close the paren. This will give us the actual value of the right two characters of that cell, which in this case should be the number 23. I can then select that cell, copy the result all the way down, then copy it, paste it over my existing values, and now I get a result in cell H2. So just a couple of ways of resolving numbers that have text in the cell. Well, at least you have some options. And if none of those techniques work for you, then you might want to run because I think the spreadsheet's haunted. I mentioned at the beginning that we would finish up by talking about some of those error messages, you know, the corners that you saw in the video. So to get there and control those, you can just go to the file tab and then down to the options. Once you're into the options, then you'll want to click formulas on the left hand side. And then at the bottom of that page, you'll notice all of the error messages that are available to you in the program. Now you can turn off whichever ones are important to you. And you can also even control the color of the error message. So I hope you found this helpful and helped you with your non-calculating data. And until the next video, thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne.